love it. You gotta get a remote to turn down. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm Latasha McGuire, local real estate expert here in Tallahassee, Florida. How are you? So, coming to you live from the Lazy Boy at my godmother's house. So, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. So, this week, we've had a total of 17 family members here on TikTok to get approved for a home loan. So, the question really is, what are you waiting for? Hey babes, good evening. What are you waiting for? What you waiting for? Like what's the delay? 17 people this week. What are you waiting for? So let's get rid of our working on your credit. Ha, ah, that was gonna be the first thing that we were gonna say, let's address. So you're working on your credit. Where are you trying to get your credit to? Right? Because the minimum credit score that you need is 580. Now, yes, it's true. The higher your score, the lower your interest. That's true. It's true. So wanting to get your score higher is admirable. It is. But uh, that's really not going to prevent you from getting into a home. So you want at least a 700. Okay. You're at a 560 and you want to get to a minimum of 580 just to be eligible for a home loan. That's easy. Add your rent to your credit report. But at that 700, if you're wanting to get higher or get it at least to a 700, um, let's just throw some hard truths at it, right? I'm pretty sure you're probably going to get there. I can bet money that you're going to get there, actually, because I know you can do it. But while you're getting there, you know what else is happening? Your interest rates are increasing. Yeah. The interest rates are increasing. That's just the truth. And the prices of homes are increasing. Yeah. So at a 622, you can definitely get into a home. Definitely. If your debt to income ratio is at 45% or below, you can definitely get into a home. Definitely. Wanna bet on it? You can definitely get into a home. Hey, babes. So, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You're waiting to get to 700, have a higher interest rate. Than what you would have now, probably, and, uh, I don't know, a more expensive house? What about location? What about location? So the whole thing that I'm trying to um, convey here is that one, time waits for no man. Two... There's no such thing as perfect timing. And even when the timing is perfect, we're so paranoid and thinking that it's not the right time that we miss the opportunity. Because we're always waiting for the perfect moment. So I'm waiting for the perfect moment. We miss the opportunity. So are you going to miss your opportunity? Or are you going to strike now? How many times in life have you thought, okay, I'm going to do something, but nah, it's not the right time. And then you missed the opportunity. Link in the bio. You can get refinanced with MI Mutual or another one, good one is Sonova's Bank as well. So, how many times do we have, we look back in our lives and we say, damn, I missed the moment. So why are you going to miss this moment to become a homeowner? To become an investor? Why? 
So my job in this is not to sell you on me. Hey, babes. Not to sell you on any product. My job is to sell you on you. And remind you that you can do it. Hey, babes. Yeah. So. Was I talking? Wait, was you talking to me when you said Link? Huh? Link. Where am I in? I'm in Tallahassee, Florida. What do you mean no one ever talks about buying on the interest rate? Child, I don't have, you might want to check my YouTube channel. I don't had a whole discussion about buying down and getting using your discount points and trying to get the lender to give you credits to buy down your interest rate with discount points. So it's funny having the lender to give you credits to be used towards it. And I had a whole conversation about how most of the time people talk about um, getting down payment. I'm sorry, asking for closing costs when they're writing the contract when purchasing a home, that if you're really a gangster about it, what you should ask for is for money towards your discount points. But you probably didn't know me then. But you know me now. See, one thing about me, people better pay attention to when I write a contract. Because I don't go for the typical things. Oh, can you pay for my survey? Oh, can you get, you know, can I get some help with closing costs or some repairs? Ah, no. Can I get a warranty? No. I aim for the silent killer. I ask him to pay for them discount points. That's what I ask for. That's going to reduce your rate. Which going to reduce your payment. See, the closing costs, that's just a one hit. I try to go for a long term hit. me. That's what I do. But you probably know me back then. That's okay. You know me now. Try to get a home with some land, preferably a duplex or can I find a little at the same time. Yes, you can. What I what would be a good idea is um, you can try the USDA loan. That's a zero down payment. You can purchase up to four units and you can be you know, on the outskirts of town and it's a zero down payment. It's a win-win. That's a win-win. Which discount points? So, what you can do is, um, for example, I'm gonna give you a good example. NACA. Even though they have very low interest rates, you can also buy down the points. So, what it means is that you can pretty much throw some money at the lender, pretty much. And they will reduce your interest rate based upon how many, how much money you give to go to point to buy down your interest rate. So if you start off with like a really high interest rate, you can throw a couple of G's at it and get it down. Like it might seem like a lot in the beginning, but when you do the math over the course of the time and the length of your loan, the life of your loan, you save a whole lot more money. See, most people think, okay, up front survey, a couple a thousand dollars, five hundred to a thousand, couple thousand dollars. They'll ask for that. They might ask for a home warranty, six hundred dollars. They might ask for you know money towards closing costs, three thousand dollars. So, am I going to ask for three thousand dollars towards closing costs, or am I going to ask for three thousand dollars towards discount points? That's going to help my client over the life of the loan. Y'all saw that TikTok? Baby, I'm a gangster too. But yeah. Mm-hmm. But 915, bless. Child, you're in good hands. I'm not worried about you. you the least of my concerns. You one baby that's taken care of and put in the bed. You and too sweet. Not worried about y'all. Oh, you're welcome, babes, anytime. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm sitting here at my godmother's house in this chair, knowing I need to go home. <sighs> Ain't 
ain't looking too good. Oh, Lord, it's 9 o'clock. Oh, Lord, I gotta go home. But, yeah. So I just popped on to remind you. I just wanted to pop in and remind y'all that, you know, there's no opportunity like the present. So if you're working on your credit and you want your score to be higher or you're trying to get to that threshold, then it does feel good. It's leather and shit. <laughs> like, and then it has a nerve to match what I got on. But um, if you work on your credit, remember you can do things like adding your rent to your credit bureau score, to your credit bureau report, boost your score. Remember you can use Experian Boost to increase your score by adding things like your utilities, your car insurance, and stuff like that. Um, your cell phone bill, so you can increase your score that way. Don't forget that we can do things like, you know, dispute inquiries to get those removed. We can do things like uh, get a secure card. It doesn't have to be for a million dollars. You can get one for two hundred dollars, and you know, pay on that. Keep don't charge any more than ten dollars on it, and um, keep that low to boost your score. You know, there's there's things that you can do to really help increase your score. And I'm telling y'all, your best friend is auto pay. I'm not saying that you know, if you can't afford auto pay and you end up with NSF, then don't do that. But auto pay. Student loan debt. Let's talk about it. Let's not forget that, first of all, it's not like before. Remember, in August of 2021, it changed. They're not calculating 1%. They're calculating 0.5%. So the amount in which they're calculating into your debt-to-income ratio has been sliced in half. Don't forget that. So that's going to help out so many people. Um, so many people. Then... Let's also remember that when your student loans go back into repayment, for those who didn't get blessed, I wasn't. My Naviant loan's still there. But anywho, for those who didn't get blessed with the Naviant loan removal, mine's still there. I don't know why. But anywho, um, remember to put it in an income-driven repayment plan when you get ready to purchase your home. Now, listen to me. Listen to me good. Don't take those student loans out of deferment or forbearance until your lender tells you you need to. It doesn't make any sense to start paying that bill if you don't have to. Your lender will tell you. Then you call up the, the Department of Education. Tell them you want to put it income driven. They're going to send you a letter. They just want to know what that payment's going to be. I'm not going to say the, the mortgage company is the best. Okay, it depends on the situation. If you are have a lower credit score and you want to get into a home, in my mutual, link is in the bio. If you are an investor, in my mutual. If you are a 1099 employee, in my mutual. If you are a no-docs employee, if you're a no-docs and like the only people use bank statements, in my mutual. If you're local and you're needing down payment assistance, then I would say Sonova's Bank Loan Depot. So it kind of depends on your situation. Um, if you're looking for like a jumbo loan, a $500,000 loan or more, MI Mutual. So, and also MI link is in my bio as well. So don't forget that if you are, you know, have a credit score of 580 and you're wanting to apply for a home loan, the link is in my bio right there for you. Now, but again, this is just my humble opinion. And I like them kind of like the way they treat my clients, right? It's all about the experience for me. Also, um, when you're getting ready to purchase a home, let's be mindful of our budgets, right? And let's not get super caught up in... Um, it's not enough money for the kind of house I want to buy. Can you buy a house? What are you going to get equity? You're going to build equity in purchasing a home and being a homeowner versus renting. What are you getting from rent? Nathan. If you got a smaller house, it's okay. Just stay in there for a little bit and let it be income property. Big picture it. 
big picture moment. Right? As a first time home buyer, you know, let's say if you get along, let, we haven't talked about this. First time home buyer. And you get approved for 300,000, let's just say. A lot of people have lately been hovering around 300 to 400,000 um, lately. Does it make more sense to go find a single family home or try to find a duplex, triplex, or quadplex? Because in my area, that's about the same price for a quad. Multifamily, you're right. That multifamily is going to pay for itself and generate income for you. That if you play your cards right in about a year or two, you can get the single family home that you want, or you can get another quad or duplex. But see, we have been so conditioned to think. I'm going to go out and get that single family home. I mean, what you think is sexier? Saying, girl, I got a house. I said, girl, I got an income producing property. We're in 2022. We got to move different. So what if you have your homeboys who may have bought this new house and they got all these great amenities and all this other kind of stuff. But your homeboy going to be working to keep that house. Whereas you getting a multifamily, it's going to be lying in your pocket. Make it make sense. So it's about how you go about the situation. So let's just say even if you don't. Let's just say y'all getting these income tax, right? We're getting these income tax. Have you considered going out and buy? Just some raw lamb. Raw lamb. It's collateral. Yeah, you can run out the other half and be the landlord. Think about that. Own something. Right. Look at your acre. You want an acre? Right here in, in, in Florida. Right up the road from me in Havana. You can get you an acre for like $6,000. Actually, to be correct, $6,100. Go acquire you a couple of acres. Create your own block. Create your own development. Make your own gated community. You can do it. It don't have to be done in a day, but you can do it. Well, that's where you are. I'm talking about where I am. Well, USDA area is going to be outside of your city. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to USDA.gov 
and you're going to put in your city and state or you can click on the city or state and it will tell you what territory falls in the USDA. What about facts? What facts? And why are we not buying blocks? Oh, facts. Okay. Why are we not buying blocks? Hmm. Did anybody tell you that you can buy a block? Did you know you can buy a block? Have you considered buying a block? I mean, really, <laughs> and no shade to my females, but if y'all could be on here talking about luxury TikTok, I'm in Dubai, we outside, you know what you could do with that money? Money is a tool. No shade, though, because I was just in Jamaica about a month ago, no shade. I'm just saying. Well, I'm going to go ahead on and step up off my perch and bring my little happy chocolate self home. I just wanted to share those thoughts. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? You waiting for permission to be great? Okay. Go be great. Right. Blowing money on trips or paying rent. Exactly. I'm just saying. I mean, because we can save up to go on these trips and be in Toronto and oh I'm in Barbados or you know I'm in Cartanega. Taking I had a thousand dollar meal and you know Chabu. And if you want to go on those trips, that's great. If you just instead of saving the money for the trip, buy the property and let the property pay for the trip. I bet you'll have a better time. I'm just saying. I'm gonna give you an example. One of my favorite content creators is Jackie Ina. I'm probably saying her name wrong. Right? Y'all know this? All of her content comes from her luxurious house. Y'all ever noticed that? If y'all follow her? Y'all ever notice how the content creators who really got some change Videos are from the comfort of their home. Hmm. And I don't mean like no two, three bedroom home. Oh, no. Hmm. Make it make sense. They're having luxury experiences at home. Hey, girl. See, we're watching, but we're not paying attention. Real estate is a wonderful investment, especially not sure is. I just told my husband, let's buy land and make our own community a lot community. Exactly. I love you too, boo. Hmm. So 
an interesting book. Words to Warm. They're wonderful. All right. <laughs> She's like, I got a whole resort in my backyard. Exactly. I can come over. I'm going to take that as an invitation. I can come over. Oh, okay. Hit me by text that address. I bet you we'll be on live going, we outside from your backyard. Yeah. You gonna send me that address or what? I'm just saying. I'll bring my pretty little tea set. Hey, good evening. I'm just sharing my thoughts. So stop resting on your laurels. Buy your house in 22. Stop coming up with excuses. And if you need an agent, call me. All right, y'all. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, before I go. Did y'all see my shady TikTok today? Somebody sent me a message on Instagram and called me lazy. Obviously, they didn't know who they were trying to pick a fight with. So, yeah. Now, I started to be petty and tag the person in the post. But then the angel on this side said, mm-mm, we -mm, ain't going to give them no attention. Because if you put their name out there, then people going to wonder, how dare they? Then they're going to go to their page and look at them. So I wouldn't give them that much attention. But child, boo, if you just need help, just say you need the help. That thing said, I was And then I went to their page and I could oh, they gave me so much material to drag them for. But I said, Lord, forgive them for they not know what they do. The unmitigated goal. But then obviously I must be doing something right because they had to have been on my page um to not only and then when i responded with my video they sent me a long long dm cussing me out and they say and i blocked you so you can't respond okay you want to start a fight but don't want to hang around for it seems a little cowardice to me Gonna call me names and then gonna hide behind block. I'm like, girl. I realized you just wanted attention and what you really wanted me to do was call you out and then y'all would have been like, who did that? And y'all went to their page and gave them the attention that they wanted. Hmm. Yes, and it's a marvelous idea to buy a house this year. Mm-hmm. Don't throw and run. Somebody should have told me I was from um, New Orleans and we'll chase you. I think she must have took my kindness for a weakness. I don't know. But she ain't going to try to gain her. Mm-hmm. Bet she ain't going to try to gain
Not today, boo. But I really feel like in my heart it was a cry for help, though. Because she said she was a real estate agent. And I'm like, mm, is that what we do to each other? That's what we do? We tan each other down now? That's where we at? But she probably needed help and just did not. She, You know what? She didn't know how to use her words. It's probably what it was. Hmm, how far am I going? With? Hey, babe. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Alright y'all, let me go home for my husband be looking for me. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night. Hey Pinky. Bye Pink Eyes. Oh, is your anniversary coming up or is your anniversary today? Is this today? That's it. But if happy anniversary. Okay. If you're AKA, happy anniversary. Oh, it's tomorrow. Happy anniversary. You pre approved for Mars on which I don't think you would get me the place I want. What should I do? Okay, Isha, here's what you should do. One, do you check on multiple lenders? Because different lenders offer different amounts. Two, you may not get you in the house that you want, but we'll get you into the house that you need that will prepare you to the next step. So let me give you my theory. Sometimes we give given situations to use as vehicles. Your first vehicle might be a Pinto or a Ford Focus. Then you might migrate to a Nissan Altima. Then you might move to, you know, um, an Acura. Go from an Acura to a Benz, a Benz to a Rolls. So is this the first step in your progression? But if you want to talk more about it, text me because I got to go home. But I always check with three different lenders because sometimes you can get someone else like the young lady who I'm, doing, who I'm working with. Um, two lenders offered her like one offered her like 120. The other lender offered her 130. And then the third lender offered her 220. Well, no, 230. So different lenders, different requirements, different um, matrix that they use to come up with how they're going to allot their loans. So those are my two pieces of advice. Check the other lenders as long as within the same time frame or 14 days. And number two, is it just the vehicle to get you to your next destination? So sometimes we can't get hung up in the present, especially when we're working towards the future. Alright? Alright. Good night. I'm happy you came. I was about to press the off and I saw your message. I'm happy you came. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Poised for success. I like your name. Okay, bye. And Isha, my little sister name is Isha too. Okay, bye.